Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I'm about to get started on a five minute soul journey mini session for Johannes. And we're just gonna keep moving forward from where we left off. I'm gonna put some links in the description if you're interested in checking out any of Johannes's previous sessions. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started now. So. Okay. So I experience your energy field, it feels like waiting. The experience of waiting feels like waiting for a long time. And I see a reflection of you very small and it's a very dark maroon color. And it, it fills the floor and the walls and the ceiling of whatever the space is. It's kind of in the shape of a oval. I mean, you're really small and there's a bit of a feeling of distance, a pondering, you could say. It doesn't feel meditative because there's a bit of a, a sorrow effect to it, a withdrawn type of feeling. And you're actually quite far away from where I am and I'm going to in to get closer to you and it almost feels like you're pushing me back. <laughs> so let me see what this is all about. Boy, are you in deep thought. I mean, you are in some serious deep thought. And it's almost like you don't want any distractions. Distractions from your depth of thought and experience in that state of being. Okay, just a moment here. I'm trying to decide if there's a reason why I'm being shown this. And is it for me to say that the healthiest balance for you right now is to not be in a deep thought? We all need days in deep thought and sometimes we need days to feel a little bit withdrawn too from my angle if i if i never done a session with you before i would instantly go to clear this energy out and lift you up because you're too deep in thought you're so deep in thought you're going to be pulling in inspirations from a more darker depressive world you can learn quite a lot from darker depressive worlds it's not necessarily a bad terrible thing but there's also a lot you can learn from lighter brighter worlds so the question is, where do you want to pull your information from? You are a portal to every dimension, time, place in an infinite universe. What fascinates you more? The information from the depths of darkness, which can be quite interesting. <laughs> or are you looking for something brighter out of life? I think it's quite clear you're looking for something brighter. That's very clear. And you have quite a dynamic energy field because you're constantly going through shifts and changes. I mean, your energy field is like a new experience every time I go in where most people are, have more of a consistency. <laughs> so um, you have a dynamic nature. But let's see. I'm... Uh... I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm just going to leave that part of you there and see what else I can find, but I'm not necessarily sure I'm allowed to do that either. I'm actually trying to turn around and go back the way that I came, wherever that was from. <laughs> nope, not allowed to do that. My, that's my spirit guide's higher self say no to that choice. So I literally just... I'm just like a mighty mouse and I just zoom on down and I go beneath the surface of where you are and you've created quite an oval shaped egg and it's clear I can see into it it's a dark maroon world but it's looking more of like a red orange color red orange uh, type of dusty ground uh, red orange cliff sides and you know this canyon like area and I'm just literally going beneath the surface of this energy egg that you're sitting inside of. And I'm, I'm putting you on my shoulder and I'm lifting you up and out of there. And you're, you're okay with that. You just don't want me to go into your bubble. 
<laughs> you're okay with me lifting you out of that place, but you don't want me to come in for some reason. Hmm. So I'm lifting you up and out. But since I'm allowed to lift you up and out, I can alter the frequencies of this energy orb that you've created, which is going to inspire you to feel differently on the inside and brighter, okay? It's going to help you feel brighter. Do you ever have one of those days where you're just kind of down in the mud? But it's not necessarily a bad feeling. You just have a lot of deep stuff you're wanting to process. And then somehow something really funny comes along and the day goes by in a totally different direction than the way that you were feeling. And you kind of look back on the day and you say, you know, I'm actually glad that happy thing happened because I was kind of too deep or I was attached to too much kind of depth or darkness or however you want to put it. And and you, you feel better about it that that it shifted. So I'm starting to pick up on that with what's ac being accomplished here. You have another side of yourself that's flickering and it's angry with me. But I have got you. I mean, how many parts of you are there? So many parts of you. So I'm still taking you up and out of that place into somewhere much brighter, happier, uh, joyful. We can crack some jokes here and it feels good to laugh. You know, a place like that. We could play the piano even if we don't know how. We could do anything. We can dance and sing. We can throw some pain against a white wall and see what happens. I mean, we can do anything up here. It's quite wonderful. So I'm taking you to a place that feels like this. And you have this uh, big menacing face looking at me, scowling at me. Uh, kind of Asian looking. Uh, he has a, a mustache that's very long and then uh, a beard too that's very long as well and long hair. And it seems like his face seems a lot longer than it should be. Almost like his mouth is drooping and he's scowling at me. I just, I just don't care. <laughs> I, I just wave and say hello as I continue to take you up and out. Say, maybe you need to join the bandwagon here. Stop being such a fuddy-duddy. <laughs> Let's go have some fun, right? I am I'm actually meant to take this uh, grumpier side with us. So I do, I, I take him in the palm, into the palm of my hand and I place him within my heart and I tell him that everything's going to be okay. And you need to really allow the brighter, lighter side of life to, to show you a new pathway. And it's exactly what you're ready for. And there's no need to, to kind of grimace on those opportunities. <sighs> you ever meet somebody who's really uptight and they're kind of scowling or grimacing at somebody who's... Uh, singing karaoke and dancing and as you just sort of like what's your problem I think you're the one that needs to go karaoke and dance <laughs> you need to lighten up so there's kind of one of these um one of these scenarios going on here uh because really what what is desired deep down inside is the power and the ability to be free and so when we see people who are freer than the way that we feel inside we can try to intimidate them to come down in their freedom of expression, you know? And I don't pick up on you being like this at the conscious level, but this is this is what is expressing itself in down deep down inside and the parts of you that are holding you back from being truly free and joyful and silly and all the things that you are, right? And I will say that the orb is starting to look more like a flower and it's starting to open up. And you are feeling quite brighter. This has to do with your heart, just so you know. Everything that we've seen here has everything to do with your heart. Okay. This is all I can share, Johannes. The energy is quite lovely. For me, I know it's just a brief session. We've seen quite a lot, but this will, your heart's going to feel open, brighter, warmer, and more expanded. You're going to feel lighter, airier. 
You're going to feel better. Thank you so much for another opportunity to work with your soul. It's very interesting to see what, what happens next. And for those of you watching, if you're interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I hope you all have a great day.